Welcome back, everybody. Do you plan to enjoy a night at home with your significant other this Valentine's Day? Looks pretty chilly. That wouldn't be a bad plan. Maybe cook dinner and dessert? Yeah. Together and enjoy a movie on the couch, maybe? Well, if you need a quick and easy, fun dessert recipe for your Valentine this Friday, guess what? Chef Martin Lopez is your guy. <laughs> we are in the All Recipes kitchen with him right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Always you, awesome to have you here. Hello, St. Louis. Good morning. Looks like crepes to me. They are crepes. I love. But for some me reason, too. as opposed to like pancakes, these feel more intimidating to make. Why is that? Um, well, they're not. They're don't very, be scared. Don't, don't. I mean, don't be scared, right? Yeah. The, the main technique is going to be to be able to spin them around in the pan. Okay. They don't need to be perfect because right. it's just going to be in the matter how you fold them, mm -hmm. right? And if you see, the main thing is going to be just being able to put it right in the middle of the pan. Okay. Make sure your pan is nice and warm, almost hot, but not extremely you hot. You can hear the sizzle. Right. And then as it goes, just kind of give it a spin a little bit around. Because we really want them to be thin. And that's right? it. Yeah, you want it to that's be it. as thin I as possible. So what's thin in, to win. What's in the, what's in in the, the crepes recipe? So for this, you're going to start putting your wet ingredients, ingredients into the mixer. You're going to start with the eggs. A little bit of liqueur or orange. Okay. I just have simply some of the orange nice. uh, juice. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Rice, flour, because these are gluten-free. Ah, gluten-free crepes. Right. I then, like that. And then milk, a cup of milk. You can use almond milk or anything else you like. That's simple. And just blend them that in a up. blender, okay. and then you're going to be cooking them as so. And they're so thin, it doesn't take long to, it, they with don't the skillet hot, long. it doesn't take very now, long. Now, here's the thing that yeah. I like to film in the morning. That's what I think for Thanksgiving. Or, uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> for, Valentine, for Valentine's I, Day. I take them on Thanksgiving right. morning, too. <laughs> They'll be perfect because you can stuff them with eggs yeah. or maybe some roasted vegetables. Mm -hmm. Or you can go the complete opposite and make them nice and sweet. That's the beauty. You can go savory or sweet. That's, That's why right. I love the crepes. So here I have one that just came that. out. That's perfect. Right? It's super light. Yep. Then I have a little bit of <gasps> dulce de leche. Oh, my gosh. Right? And I'm going to go, you can go a little Nutella. Oh, yes. Oh, right. my gosh. Now I'm on board. Look at this. Maybe a little bit of whipped cream mm -hmm. if you like. In mm -hmm. this case, I didn't mm -hmm. bring any. But mm -hmm. And then you can put some berries. You want to throw some berries in there? And look. Oh, sure. Can I? Yeah, just, go ahead. Are we yeah. going to roll this up? Oh, or are we going to yeah, just go? Roll it up okay. Real fast. All right, all right, all right. Just to make is a that point. Good? Yeah, that's perfect. And see, the point that I was trying to make, they don't need to be perfectly round. Right. Because you're going to fold them like an oh enchilada. Oh, my gosh. Put a little bit of powder. Uh, Powder sugar over yes. the top. Oh. Pom pom, and senor, you are ready to go. And see, you feel like you're at one of those swanky brunch places in the little yeah, neighborhoods right. here and there around St. Louis. You have to pay $20 for that. Just oh go home and make gosh. it for pennies. Can I, can I get in on this? Please do the are honor. Are you serious? And look, do you see that cake? That thing is beautiful. Talk, right, talk about that. Too. So well, you, you can you layer it up and just. Yeah, one yep. after the other. Just layer it and layer it and layer it yep, yep, and then yep. top it with bears. Mm -hmm. Very simple. What mm -hmm. do you think? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that is outstanding. Right? That's good. so and good. And gluten-free, the one thing mm -hmm. to remember. Mm. And it tastes delicious. You can find more of Chef Martin's recipes on his Instagram, his Twitter feed, his Facebook pages. Just search the username Chef Martin Lopez. You should get to sample your own almost. stuff once in a while. He never does that. It's <laughs> almost too easy. This is so, and look at how beautiful so this good. thing is. How do you say Bob's your uncle in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Roberto's to Tio. Okay. Roberto's to Tio. Something like that. Something like that. Very good, Matt. Oh, Ask him. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Looks good. In the second half.